If you wanna know human survivors against the horrors of a post-apocalyptic world, you should definitely watch our selections for best zombie-themed movies. Number 10. Actually, yes. You gave me some wood? Now I'm gonna give you. Planet Terror is a 2007 exploitation horror film directed by Robert Rodriguez. It is part of the double feature film Grindhouse, which pays homage to the gritty, low budget genre films of the 1970s and 1980s. The movie is a zombie apocalypse story set in a small Texas town where a military experiment goes horribly wrong, turning people into flesh-eating mutants. The film features over-the-top action, graphic violence, and a cast of quirky characters, including a go-go dancer with a machine gun for a leg. Number 9 gotta get off the street. World War Z is a 2013 apocalyptic sci-fi horror film directed by Mark Forster. It's loosely based on Max Brooks' novel of the same name. The film follows former United Nations investigator Jerry Lane as he races against time to find a solution to a global pandemic that turns people into aggressive zombies. With its fast-paced plot and large-scale set pieces, World War Z offers a thrilling and adrenaline-pumping take on the zombie genre, and it's known for its suspenseful sequences and Brad Pitt's performance as Jerry Lane. Number 8 Day of the Dead 1985 is a classic horror film directed by George A. Romero, known for his contributions to the zombie genre. The movie is the third installment in Romero's Living Dead series. Set in a post-apocalyptic world overrun by zombies, the story follows a group of survivors who have taken refuge in an underground military bunker. As tensions rise among the inhabitants, the film explores themes of isolation, the breakdown of society, and the ethical questions surrounding the undead. Bad Bob. Man, you pus brain bag of shit. Number 7. Hey! Let me take it! Let me take it! You can let go of it. The Return of the Living Dead 1985 is a horror comedy film directed by Dan O'Bannon. Unlike traditional zombie films, this one takes a humorous and satirical approach to the genre. The story begins when a pair of bumbling employees at a medical supply warehouse accidentally release a toxic gas that reanimates the dead. Chaos ensues as a group of punk rockers and a mortician deal with the reanimated corpses. The film is known for its witty humor, punk rock soundtrack, and its introduction of the idea that zombies crave brains. Pain. What about the pain? The pain of being dead. <laughs> Number 6. <laughs> Jim! Jim, he's infected! No! No! 28 Days Later is a British post-apocalyptic horror film directed by Danny Boyle. The story begins when a man awakens from a coma to find a deserted London. He soon discovers that a highly contagious virus has turned most of the population into violent, infected zombies. He joins a small group of survivors and together they embark on a harrowing journey in search of safety. The film is known for its fast-paced action, atmospheric cinematography, and its exploration of themes such as isolation, survival, and the collapse of society. Mark? Wait. Number 5. <laughs> Train to Busan is a South Korean horror thriller film directed by Yun Sang-ho. 
The movie unfolds on a high-speed train from Seoul to Busan as passengers find themselves trapped amidst a zombie outbreak. The story revolves around a father trying to protect his daughter, while the group of survivors must face not only the relentless zombies, but also their own moral choices and human nature. The film is praised for its suspenseful storytelling, intense action sequences, and its exploration of human behavior under extreme circumstances. It has garnered international acclaim as a standout film in the zombie genre. <laughs> Number 4 We would become innocent again and everything would return to normal. What are you prospecting? Zombieland 2009 is a comedic zombie apocalypse film directed by Ruben Fleischer. It follows a group of survivors, each identified by their hometowns, as they navigate a world overrun by zombies. The film combines humor, action, and heartfelt moments as the characters form a makeshift family and embark on a road trip. With witty rules for survival and memorable characters, including Tallahassee and Columbus. Zombieland provides a fresh take on the zombie genre. It's known for its humor, quirky characters, and unexpected moments, making it a beloved cult classic. Number 3 The killers are eating the flesh of the people they murder. Yeah, they're dead. They're Night of the Living Dead 1968 is a groundbreaking horror film directed by George A. Romero. Survivors trapped in a farmhouse must fend off a zombie apocalypse, while the film explores themes of fear, racism, and human nature. Its low budget and black and white cinematography create a haunting atmosphere. A cultural touchstone, it birthed the modern zombie genre and remains a classic in horror cinema. Die during this crisis, from whatever cause, we come back to life to seek human victims. I'm telling you, they can't get in here. Number two. They're still here. They're after us. They know we're still in here. They're after the place. Dawn of the Dead 1978 is a classic horror film directed by George A. Romero, it's a sequel to Romero's groundbreaking zombie film Night of the Living Dead. Survivors of a zombie apocalypse take refuge in a shopping mall. The film is known for its social commentary on consumerism, as the characters find both safety and temptation amid the mall's products. It's a classic of the zombie genre, blending horror with satire and providing a lasting impact on both filmmaking and the cultural perception of zombies. Why do these people keep them here? Because they still believe there's respect in dying. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. For more? Rooftop units target everyone at ground level. No exceptions. Repeat, no exceptions. Oh my god, it's Nicole! Number 1 so I haven't got any change. I didn't even have enough at the fucking shot. Shaun of the Dead is a British zombie comedy film directed by Edgar Wright. The movie humorously blends elements of zombie horror with everyday life. It follows Shaun, a slacker who must rise to the occasion when a zombie apocalypse breaks out in his town. Along with his friends and family, he fights to survive while navigating their personal issues. The film is known for its clever humor, witty satire, and endearing characters. 
The film is a unique and entertaining take on the zombie genre, offering a perfect blend of laughs and scares. Although no one official is prepared to comment, religious groups are calling it Judgment Day. There's panic on the streets of London. As an increasing... Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments, and for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Movie Soul.